What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Jameson Brandon channel. Today, we're going to recap the Cyber Polygon event that happened July 9th, and we're gonna kind of talk about this uh, World Economic Forum agenda, as well as some new data, which is very, very interesting and slightly concerning. So let's take a trip back into the uh, time capsule here to 2020, when 120 teams from 29 countries took part in a technical security training that was called the Cyber Polygon event. This was the first one. Uh, the viewership reached 5 million from 57 nations. So there's no like post-mortem yet for the 2021 on the World Economic Forum website. On the uh, Polygon itself website, uh, I didn't seem to find that either. But this seems to be the new area of focus for Klaus Schwab for the World Economic Forum, who is clearly a outspoken, very loud representation of, of a direction that some of the world elite want. I don't know how many. I guess that's all up for debate at this point, are, are really in on this agenda, let's call it. But it's clear that just like Event 201, which was the pre precursor to um, the uh, Confufu pandemic is that the same thing is happening again. So, I mean, look, dude, at this point, we know there's going to be some sort of cybersecurity thing happen now. Okay, so it's like, you can choose to believe that or not. It doesn't really matter. I personally don't care. Is um, all the writings on the wall. This is the second one now. This is all this guy's talking about. This build back better. Great reset. Bullshit, 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 blah, blah, blah crap, you know that this is where he's putting his focus. And so coincidentally, I'm sure a bunch of stuff will happen around this. Um, here's like their their website. Look, focus, literally <laughs> worldeconomicforum.org slash focus slash the great reset. This is that whole build back better narrative that was parroted from uh, Trudeau to Cron in France to now Biden in the US. And they've got an entire site with all these articles written about uh, just crap, really junk, mental toxic junk where all they're really trying to do is manipulate and uh, put forth the agenda and the narrative that they want to um, that they want to peddle. And that's what news aggregators really are, is their job is to get you to believe in a narrative that is in their best interest or the lobbyist's best interest or the um, advertiser's best interest. And that's really it. So there's that piece, but then it takes an interesting turn, right? Because we're pretty up to date on, on that. But then there's this Deagle or um, Degel website, depends on how you want to pronounce it, D-E-A-G el.com go ahead and check that out it's um very interesting basically it predicts that by 2050 70 percent of the u.s population will be reduced i don't know why or uh, we'll talk about how i don't know why this site isn't like more popular i don't know why more people aren't finding this i actually found out about this from doug casey international man which i've got so so thoughts about this guy um they do put out a lot of marketing material they do market very well and that's not to take away from their their predictions and what they've got to say because i, I will say that doug casey's got usually some really really great things to say and it's because he's got so much world experience and he's been around to so many countries and that in comparison to your typical analyst who's never left america i mean there's a huge difference between the you know what this guy sees and what most people are talking about so here it is they've predicted that about 70 percent of the u.s population about the same percentage of europe is going to disappear by 2025 excuse me i said 2050 earlier i was wrong that's by 2025 so four years it's hard to believe that anybody in this position would make a forecast like that there's no logical business reason for it especially since it was done before the COVID hysteria gripped the world. So that's very interesting that this data was put out before that. So is this like a precursor because they, they're measuring it based on um, the report analyzes countries by projected population size, GDP, defense budget, and more. So they're basing this off of like weapons and defense budgets, a lot of the algorithm and how they're figuring this out, which I thought was really interesting. So is this like um, some sort of algorithmic precursor or prediction of a World War III that's going to just completely, you know, ripple the world? So here it is right here. I'm using um, archive link, list of countries forecast 2025, and you can see the changes in population, right? With this down arrow, how many people are going to go away? Uh, 100 million. So 99 million is what we're looking at left in the United States, or that's what's going to go away. I'm not really sure how this data is um, is being displayed so and this is the only page I was uh, I pulled up so I'm sure it shows at the bottom you can check it out for yourself but uh, there is either a difference of 99 million or that is what will be left I think I don't know if it's 70 percent then that would be 99 million left this is very very interesting report and you know we start to talk about this this uh, narrative of World War three well we've got quite a bit of it sitting there don't we we've got um, increasing tensions with China um, we've got domestic uh, tensions. We've got people now calling uh, patriots and people that love America, let's call it nationalism. They're calling that different words. And, uh, you know, they've got different judgments against that, calling it different things, which I can't say on YouTube pathetically because uh, this video will get uh, demonetized, deleted. My channel will get deleted again. Who knows? Needless to say, there's enough of the uh, hostility in the mix. 
And the whole goal here is division. So while all this is going on, what do they got you focusing on on WEF? Well, of course, the, the evil division itself um, between all of us, which is only created and uh, hyperextended, made bigger by them, right? And so there's similar articles because now we got the, the Asian stuff that's gone on. And of course, there's no mention of Africa, Europe, Asia, and how they feel about other skin colors, the geographical locations, etc. There is just big bad United States, and they are the root of all evil and the kings of the big R word. And uh, nobody else matters because let's just focus on this over here. Here. So it's a big game of look over here, not over there, uh, once again. So it's very interesting to see like the pivot of World Economic Forum. They're obviously a big player. And so they are, they're directing your attention on probably what, what to focus on next. Uh, what I'd like to see is now that I'm seeing more and more people get rich off of crypto is I'd like to see instead of them going and hiding, buying your houses in five different states, five different countries, and like, you're good, you're Gucci. Um, why don't you, you know, put up some of that money, muster up some of that money and actually start to create some change and start to lobby for some shit that uh, can change stuff. And if enough people did that around the world, we might just see change. Normal people who have had enough that are taking a stand in one way, shape or form um, and expressing that through putting their uh, wallets to good use, right? And in terms of their the gains that they've gotten and um, the wealth that they've been able to build. So anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you like this sort of thing, click the like button. It just helps us get up in the algorithms more. Uh, comment below if you got something to say and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and uh, and you like this topic point. Hit the bell notification, turn it to all and we'll see you again real soon in another video. See ya. Thank you.